and papers now. Oliver Farry is joining us uh, to have a look at the French newspapers. And today sees uh, the surprise publication this of a book by the former Justice Minister Christiane Taubira. You'll remember she only uh, resigned, in fact, last week. Now, it's been rushed out this, Oliver, hasn't it? Ahead of uh, the uh, vote on dual citizenship in the National Assembly. It's a bit of a tell all expose. Not quite, actually. There isn't anything hugely controversial in it. Now, the book is supposedly written in a fairly diplomatic tone. It's got the very poetic title, Murmur à la jeunesse, which might be roughly translated as Whispers to the Young. Now, it was in preparation ahead of her resignation and was printed in Spain in the greatest secrecy, according to Le Monde, with even bookshops not being told who the author was. So, obviously, there were a few buyers who were taking a real gamble on, on this anonymous writer that uh, uh, that was being proposed to them. Le Monde calls it Christine Taubera's prosecution case against the stripping of citizenship, which is a reference to her main dissenting point with President Francois Hollande and Prime Minister Manuel Valls. Taubira is firmly opposed to the government's plan to strip citizenship of uh, terrorist suspects with dual nationality. Now, the centre-left daily gives a peek into the 100-page book in which Tobara says that a country should be able to get by with its citizens. And she asks, what would happen if, if every country in the world decided to uh, strip citizenship of uh, its native-born uh, nationals who were considered to be undesirables? The law will make any citizens of dual nationality, she, she says, no matter how law-abiding, feel like they're viewed with suspicion as a fifth column. However, Le Monde says it's not a diatribe against Hollande or Valls. Though Tobira clearly doesn't share the same philosophy as the, of the government, she is respectful of her former colleagues and she's even complimentary towards the president on how he handled the aftermath of the no November attacks. OK, at least he says some nice things, I suppose. Okay. What about the law itself, though, um, Oliver? Still not going down very well with sections of the French left, like many of the government's um, security-minded policies at the moment. That's right. The left-leaning Daily Liberation is concerned about another measure that is being proposed for a law on criminal procedure reform that is being presented Wednesday to the Cabinet. Now, this aims at making it easier for security forces to use their guns and also allowing police to keep their weapons on them while they're off duty. Uh, Liberation says, by now opting for strong measures supposed to respond to security needs, the government fends off accusations of being soft and even precludes them if more attacks happen. But it also asks if these measures are legitimate or even effective. It says... The editorial concludes, without the necessary safeguards, such as training of officers, accidents and rogue incidents will never be too far off. Now, this is a worry that is represented in a cartoon in Liberation by Willem, which shows Francois Hollande and Manuel Valls running after a horse which is galloping away. And the, sta the stallion is named State of Emergency. <laughs> and the right-leaning Le Figaro, um, they say that the president's being attacked on all fronts. They've come up with a nice list for us, haven't uh, they? The State of Emergency, Unemployment... And, of course, the left-wing primary is set for the presidential election. Yes, Le Figaro says the president has his back to the wall. He's isolated and criticised. It wonders if, the first round of the with the first round of the presidential elections 14 months away, does the president still have the ability to control his own destiny as the anyone but Hollande vote, not dissimilar to the anyone but Sarkozy vote four years ago, is gaining momentum? The anti-Hollande front is honing its weapons, it says, Dissenting Socialist Party members suggest a primary is the only way for the left to select a candidate for 2017. And they also mean the entire left, the broad left, which can also mean the Greens and possibly far left groups too. Though the party secretary, Jean-Christophe Combedelis, isn't being very receptive, he says in an interview with Le Figaro that the primary for all of the left has got off to a bad start. Now, finally... Francois Hollande, he's got somebody at least to uh, hold his hand, if you like, today at the Elysee Palace. This is the Cuban president, uh, Raul Castro. Yes, uh, the, the communist daily L'Humanité covers it and says it's a historic visit. Well, of course they would. Mm. And it wonders if it's a step towards lifting the blockade of Cuba. But in the right-leaning paper L'Opinion, there's a rather different view. The Cuban opposition activist Jacobo Machover is amazed at the change of attitude by Western governments towards a regime that he says remains a dictatorship. He says Barack Obama and another of other number of other head of, heads of state, particularly Francois Hollande, have helped give legitimacy to a dictatorship that has none. In the past year, there has been no opening up in Cuba, he says, far from it. Uh, Cuba is currently experiencing a new wave of emigration, the biggest since 1994.
Okay, a story that uh, we will no doubt continue to cover in the next couple of days here on France 24. So stay with us uh, for more coverage of that visit, Oliver. Thank you very much, Oliver, with the papers.